So hello, and shh, welcome to another Sandia Mountain Natural History Center quick trip. We're looking at a turkey decoy, trying to draw in some turkey. You know, one of the questions we get a lot on these videos is, how do we get to see more animals? One of the ways to understand seeing more animals is to understand camouflage because the whole time you've been looking at that turkey have you noticed that i was right behind it camouflage is a french word meaning concealment by means of disguise and animals use that all the time and there's really four different types of camouflage that animals use they use uh concealing which is going to be just their basic color. That's why most animals are browns and grays and greens and things like that. And then you have disruptive color, colorization, colorization, colorizing, color, you get what I'm trying to say, right? It's things like zebras and leopards and things like that. And then you have uh, camo by disguise, and that's gonna be looking like something else, like a walking stick, looks like a stick. And then you have mimicry, which is kind of like camo by disguise, but mimicry is mimicking another animal that a predator wouldn't like. So a lot of grasshoppers have bright red colors, which uh, fool predators into thinking they're poisonous, or moths have big dots that make them look like eyes. But we're gonna play around with some of these camo tricks so let's go do that now. So the most common form of camouflage is just coloration. So here we got a few different uh, examples. We have the good old woodland camouflage. I think I'm probably camouflaged the best. We have Toby in uh, the last generation of Air Force camouflage. And then Susanna in just regular civilian camouflage, I guess you would call it. So coloration is why you have most animals are brown, black, um, in the reptiles are green and things like that because color, they're just blending into their background. Mimicry is a type of camouflage where a harmless thing is made to look like something that is not so harmless, like a viceroy looking like a monarch or moths having big spots to make them look like eyes. Often bright red colors on beetles and grasshoppers make them look poisonous. And even on the horn lizard, the flesh protrusions are not horns, they're just skin. Another form of camouflage is disguise. And that's when something looks like something else. So this ghillie suit that I have on, if you notice and look closely, it's made up of leaves. So I look like the oak trees behind me. Good example of uh, things that use this kind of camouflage are like bagworms and walking sticks and things like that. Disruptive coloration uses broad strokes and contrasting lines to break up the outline of an animal. Things like leopards, believe it or not, use this, and even zebras. And you may wonder, well, how does that work on a zebra? They're black and white. Well, consider that their main predator, the lion, is colorblind. See how many of these animals in the next series of pictures you can find using all the types of camouflage. And consider this, the next time you're out hiking in the woods or the desert or something, think about all the animals that you're probably passing by hidden right in front of you.
So we really appreciate everybody watching. We're getting close to a thousand subscribers. Yep, I'm right here in the shot. You can't see me. I'm right here. Can you see me? Can you see me? Keep looking. We're real close to a thousand subscribers. So if you like this video, uh, please do us the favor of liking and subscribing. And we will catch you on the next one.